Peace and love, everybody. This is your brother, Judah Sun, chief content creator and trustee for Moorish Nationality Card Services. Um, I know it's been a little bit. I can't necessarily say I do apologize for that, but my whole thing is I only do videos on this particular platform and uh, or website, wherever you may be viewing this at, when I have something to say to you pertaining to this particular platform, which is Moorish Nationality Card Services. Um, anyway, so what's happening today is I want to debut to you guys. I guess you could say it's it's an old design, but it's more updated. It's improved. So let me show you what we're talking about here. So of course you guys already know we have the classic BMV style Morsh National identification card. Um, some of you have this card. Um, a lot of Moors out there have this card. They actually love this card. Um, with that being said, um, we have a more that has been working with us for some years now. Shouts out to that brother there who has been helping us improve on the aesthetics, the, de the design of the Moorish National Identification Card. All right. So as you can see here, um, the color has changed some in the background of the BMV style Moorish National Identification Card. A lot of this stuff was just, you know, uh, this area here was dark blue this was um, a light blue and then it had these lines going here and of course we always had the security fraud detection um, patterns within there but what we've moved to do now is make it to where the colors are falling more into a line with the Real ID Act compliancy because again like I said we are trying to improve so much on our design that Moors will begin to be able to travel internationally more frequently. We do have Moors who have been able to travel internationally utilizing um, the Moors National Identification cards that we have. We've had Moors who've been able to cross borders and come back to um, the so-called uh, United States. All right. So as you can see here, not only did we change the colors to be in more aligned with the Real ID Act, we also locked in here. We have the uh, five point star, Shield of Solomon, Seal of Solomon, Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom and Justice. So that's now been placed, embedded into the image as well. So those are the things. Also as well, what we've done is to be in more aligned with the Real ID Act. We have as well enlarged the star for um, federal travel, uh, getting on planes, things of this nature. So we've enlarged the star for that as well. Um, so that's that. So as you guys can see, good a good glimpse here. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody out there can now say that we're copying off of them or we're usurping their design. I'm sure no one can can say that, right? Um, I'm pretty sure down the line this this ID here will be an inspiration for many different Moorish National Identification cards that you'll see because none of them were designed like this at all until we started doing them like this. So if you see any Moorish National Identification cards out there that look like this and it's not ours, it's because now they're copying off of us. How do you like those apples? All right. Now, also, this is the new thing that we've also added here Let me bring this up here we've also added um, new holographic features now what you're seeing here this blue color this is actually a uh, UV image this is a UV image of um, a Moorish national identification card that we had created for um, a more here sometime about uh, what six four or five months ago about four months ago yeah, four months ago exactly. Look at that. Um, <clears throat> and we decided to start adding uh, UV holographic features onto the card. Um, of course, this technology is nothing new. We're not the first to do this. But what it does is it gives more security to the card. All right. So as you can see here, um, as of now, it's an eagle, but we will be getting that design change as time goes on. But this is bring, making the card more official, um, having more weight. Now, why why I'm saying that is because 
A lot of people get our position confused here at Morris National Identity, Morris Nationality Card Service. Um, some people think that we present ourselves as, as a government entity, and that is not the case at all. We are a, a private entity that is commissioned by Moors and different organizations who commission us to produce the cards for them. The authority to make those cards is commissioned to us via them, whether they have their own jurisdiction, organization, a temple, um, a building, maybe they might need employee IDs, whatever the case may be wanted to clear that up that is where the authority comes from it is commissioned by those who give us the authority to produce these cards for them it is as simple as that all right so again as you can see here we've added the new security features all right uv all right so if anybody is producing our cards and they're not having this uv feature on there it's, it's not our cards all right it's just as simple as that it's not our cards whatsoever at all all right you guys got that and then not only that i'm gonna end it out here you see that we've changed the color of the bmb style card to make it more compliant with the real id act for certain um color criteria that has to be met and you can also see that we have the moorish five point star seal of solomon love truth peace freedom and justice embedded in here with which definitely makes this this design much better than it was seven months ago eight months ago a year ago i love this right here this looks fly all right so if you are interested in getting yourself a morris national identification card you already know all you need to do is go into the comments uh comments of this video depending on where you may be viewing this at the description um and all of that good stuff it'll be down there the information is there the links will be there and as i as i'm saying it the link is also on the screen so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here this is judah sun chief content creator and trustee for morris nationality car services appreciate you allowing me to take up so much of your very valuable time i'm about to here one